Now, what else have we got? Uh, Jay Morrison, any old school wrestling talk? You know, that's where we're going to go for the last few minutes. Let's yeah. talk about old school wrestling. Shoot. Uh, yeah, give us somebody to talk about. One name. That's all we need. One name. And we will go in the chat room and then bring it back to the live buzz. And we'll talk about him. Yeah. Yeah, put in a uh, name there, uh, an old school name. Uh, we've got Bruno. So uh, I suppose you're talking about Bruno San Martino. What an absolute disgrace that Bruno San Martino is sort of uh, shunned, at least, by the company. Maybe it's a two-way street. Maybe Bruno is sort of uh, perhaps being an angry guy and a disgruntled ex-worker. But I think Bruno needs to be in that Hall of Fame. Yeah, I think Bruno uh, definitely one of the most disgruntled of all time and one of the first... Uh, WWF action figures I ever bought as a kid was a Bruno Sammartino uh, figure and it was uh, some quality stuff <laughs> but Bruno Sammartino certainly not one uh, on, the br on the good side of Vinnie Mac who else who's next oh we've got tons so we're just going to keep going the warrior right ultimate warrior I think he's got some s outspoken opinions and I think often I don't agree with the guy his blog is very controversial but like I say he made that Spanish appearance a couple of months or maybe a year ago now and now i'm wondering where he's gonna go because you know he's appeared on that opening montage that sort of corporate wwe video now and you've got to wonder was it true that this week he was in fact uh, or at least this year they were thinking about putting him in the hall of fame we heard about conversations between vince and warrior was it true who knows yeah, who knows what that guy's up to because his wife, as she has said, he used to uh, paddle a little bit on her side of the boat, but a little bit on the other side of the boat too. Uh, want to always put the homosexuals down, uh, Jim Helwig, but uh, maybe he needs to take a look in the warrior mirror and feel the power of the gods raining down because he knows that uh, what he is into is uh, certainly um, the path of the warrior. Let's go again, and another name put in there, uh, Andre the Giant. Now, Andre the Giant is a guy who, well, he worked that big match with Hulk Hogan. We remember him from that. And as I say, I can't really think of anything else straight off the bat. I mean, he sort of had more of a sort of top era back in the days when he was sort of in the... 70s and 80s limelight in other territories where he probably shone a bit more than in those WWE days but I think uh, Andre the Giant is uh, somebody who probably I don't have much to say about he liked to drink a lot of wine that's right, he did like to drink. Uh, Andre the Giant was notorious for sort of uh, being drunk in the ring. I mean, that's what Iron Sheik says. Uh, I've only got his word to say it. Who else have we got? Draven123. I'm glad to see you in here tonight. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Draven saying Jake Roberts. Well, Jake Roberts is uh, somebody I was thinking about today. Now, I was thinking about Jake back in the late 90s. Now, when Jake came back with that sort of Christian gimmick, you remember that, with the white snake? And, of course, it wasn't too long after that that we had that famous Stone Cold line. And I think Jake was instrumental in coining the phrase that pays. Yep. Uh, Austin 316. Uh, Jake Roberts, the man responsible for that, uh, an old king of the ring, many moons ago. But uh, if there was ever a man for the rats, it was uh, Jake the Snake Roberts. Um, he certainly knew his way around an arena in Oklahoma, or Nebraska, or be it Portland, Oregon. Uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, always a good man for the rats. We're asking people in our live chat room to mention a wrestler's name. And we say what we think about them. And Ricky Steamboat, well, we both met Ricky Steamboat. We're happy to say that the guy was very willing to pose for a photo and no trouble whatsoever from Ricky. And I think he is such a solid worker. When he came back at WrestleMania two years ago, it was a, a wonderful moment to see that guy doing those traditional arm drags across the ring and to hear those chants of support ricky steamboat should have a yearly appearance on wwe yeah it's insane to think uh, a name that doesn't get really get too much um attention and really isn't put over all that much but such a great guy across the board i mean he really 
you know, so underrated from his WCW, some classic WWC, WCW days, um, and he's um, he's running WWF too, but uh, more so WCW, I think, for, for uh, Ricky, but certainly uh, a great guy across the board and uh, amazing to see at WrestleMania, even the pops from uh, the crowd, and uh, a great match even at that age, still delivering and ring psychology wise 100 percent out of ricky steamboat you're listening to wrestle dope the wrestling radio podcast post the name of an old school wrestler any wrestler but old school will be best in the chat room and we'll try and share our opinions of it for what time we have left here on the program and we have just a few minutes uh we want to save some uh for next week of course we'd like you to come back here every sunday i'm smiling here because somebody posted Bruiser Brody. Now the thing about Bruiser Brody, it was a very sad sort of event when Bruiser was killed. And indeed, I recently saw what was, I think, one of the first shoots, the first breaking kayfabe shoots. It was up on a website, and indeed it was Bruiser Brody. And i got to think we were denied the chance to see a guy like that. I mean, we would have had no opportunity, really, to see some of those Texas matches and, you know, the Von Erich territories. It just wasn't shown here. Uh, at least we wouldn't have even been alive. Uh, he's one of the all-time greats and uh, probably the first legit shooter out there and certainly spawned what is now a bit of a phenomenon with the wrestling shoot videos. And uh, I always thought it was the iconic stamp uh, as far as wrestling shoots go. Um, and close to, I mean, only Sheik can get up there, but uh, Bruiser Brody certainly breaking uh, the kayfabe and uh, breaking it well. Thanks for joining us here on Wrestle Dope tonight. And indeed, come back to us every Sunday on Justin and indeed on youtube.com slash the Wrestle Dope. That's where you can find all our stuff. And goodbye for this week.